Hi. Um, Iceberg will steal show, as usual. Matt, thanks for the host, buddy. And Fritz, I saw your host a minute ago. Thank you. Um, Dom, I will get around to the crazy and break in just a few minutes. Um, I promise. And Louie, yeah, I'm... I'm sorry, but I give you the I gave you those points back. No harm, no foul. Um, just not feeling the the frog hat tonight. Um, I'm not hearing you talk, but you. Sorry, I had it turned off in Discord earlier. Oh, um, my bad. No, you're fine. You're no, you're you're totally fine. Ready to Tokyo drift. Um, thank you, Domi. I appreciate you, bud. Um. So, yeah. Tonight, I was supposed to be... Wait, do I... I don't have that running. Where's the... Uh, there we go. Uh, hey, PVD. Um, so, tonight was supposed to be Fortnite. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to kill the intro music. Um, so, tonight was supposed to be Fortnite. Um... And I've been doing a lot of reflection over the last 24 hours, and I felt like tonight would not be appropriate to play Fortnite. Um, so uh, I'm sure some of you know what's been going on in the world. Um, for those of you who don't know what's happening, uh, I will explain it. Uh, I'm going to turn the lights to full bright white. Um, while I explain this, because there is extreme violent content, so if you want to take a second to get away from the stream, not listen, not watch while I do this, um, lights are all the way up behind me. When I change them back to the blue, uh, when I change them back down, when I turn the, the brightness back down on them and everything, um, I will, then we'll, we're good to go. So if you all want to take a second, um, and I'll just give you a minute to to switch off if you need to, just for delays and everything. So, um, yesterday in Buffalo, New York, a white supremacist uh, who had previously published a manifesto online had gone and acquired uh, assault weapon and um, uh, uh, body armor and drove to a predominantly black neighborhood and proceeded to murder several um, black people in a grocery store in that area. All whilst live streaming it on Twitch. Um, should this have been something that should have been caught sooner? Probably so. Probably so. Absolutely. Um, but, um, they, they also like the, the fact that they were able to live stream it and that videos are still circulating of it now. Like there shouldn't have been video of it to begin with. It shouldn't, it shouldn't have, th that should have never happened. Um, so the fact that there are still videos circulating of it is just horrific to say the least. Um, so in case you didn't know, that's, that's what happened, um, yesterday, um, was the mass shooting by a white supremacist in Buffalo. The reason I bring this up is because I felt that it wouldn't be appropriate, to say the least, to play Fortnite, a game of its type, on stream tonight. Um, I know it's, you know, video games are kind of the escape from reality for a lot of folks. It's something that we do to, you know, have fun, um, get away from stuff. But I felt that it would just be a little tone deaf and honestly the wrong move to continue with that as planned. Um, so instead, 
um, I decided that I think we should have just a more chilled out night. Um, I'm going to toss up a project that I've been working on in Firebot. Uh, I'm going to continue working on that. And um, we're going to just... Uh, we're just gonna chill out here tonight. Um, the other thing that I kind of wanted to bring up as part of this is that the rules for the stream and the community have been altered slightly. One of the things when I started all of this um, was we don't talk religion and politics. Tokyo Drift. Ray, thank you for that that five dollars, but I appreciate you. Um, one of the things that, that we, you know, I, when I established this community was, I want this to be a place where everyone feels welcome. People don't feel put out or cast aside. Um, and everyone, no matter their background, their status, whatever attribute that they may have feels welcome. Um, of course, as long as they don't, um, you know, as long as they're not attacking other people. Um, so I put that in that rule in because I know that religious and political discussions by their nature can devolve quickly into disrespect and sometimes hatred for other human beings. However, I'm the kind of person that takes specific stances on things uh, that tend to be very political. And... For those of you who have been here long enough, you know that our community is one that is, um, we welcome people from all walks of life, of all races, of all religions, of all political alignments. Um, we love and welcome people regardless of their gender identity, their national origin. Um, we we don't you know we we and for those of for those who are in marginalized groups we try to defend them where we can um and we speak out against those who do uh try to harm those people um i posted a thread on twitter about this earlier today um and the point is that Many of the stands, the, the positions that I take are very political in nature simply because even the existence of folks tends to be politicized. Whether they're a woman, whether they're, you know, a, they're transgender, perhaps they're non-binary, um, even based on the color of their skin, their existence is politicized. Um, and when you take a stand either for or against those people, you are taking a political stand just by the very nature of our world. Um, so my point is that um, I'm not going to limit those topics here. Um, I'm not going to necessarily actively encourage us to talk about them. Like we're not going to sit down and have a, a whole show that's religious and or political in nature. That's not what I'm here to do. Um, but folks are here to, they're here to exist and not to make too light of it, but as Krakow likes to say, they're, they are here to just vibe. And folks are trying to live their lives. And there are a lot of people who look and sound a lot like me who are doing their damnedest to prevent that in any way they can. Um, I don't tolerate that shit. I don't stand for it. And I'm not going to deal with it from anybody in our community. I don't have any feelings that anybody in our community has ever been that way. At all. We have a phenomenal community of folks you all are just some of the best people, and I appreciate everything that you do for me and for each other. And I want to make that very clear. And I want to also make very clear that in having any of these discussions um, that are religious or, and political in nature, um, we will always be respectful of one another 
And if anyone tries to lead the discussion or behave in such a way that infringes upon the basic human rights of other people, that is, there will be zero tolerance of that. There will be zero tolerance of it, just like we have zero tolerance policies today. Um, the, the, those same rules still apply, zero tolerance. Things like homophobia, racism, xenophobia, um, transphobism, uh, and the, the list goes on, but you get my point. Uh, those things will remain zero tolerance. You will be booted the fuck out of the community, and you will not be coming back. And trust me, there are several communities that you will not be a part of anymore if you share those communities with me and the folks here. Um, once again, I don't think anybody here would do that because you all are some fantastic folks, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, but I do want to make it very clear that by opening these doors, I know this is sort of a dangerous proposition to allow political and religious discussion but I also want to know that um, that we were still going to be respectful of our fellow human beings, no matter what. The only disrespect that we have are for people who are disrespectful to other human beings. That's it, plain and simple. For example, a white supremacist. That kind of shit stain has no place here. And if you are one, you can fuck right off. Plain and simple. That's it. So tonight, I want to just hang out with everybody. I want to just chill out. Um, I'm going to work on some stuff in Firebot that I've been working on this week. And um, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm, I just... I wanted to spend this time with you all. This is this is you know our time together, um, and I wanted to do it in a way that's more respectful of the current events in the world and of the um, of our community as a whole. Um, so, no game tonight, especially no game like Fortnite. We are going to just chill out. I'm going to throw up the code while I'm working on stuff. And if y'all want to talk about whatever, please go ahead. Um, but that's kind of the long and short of it. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if there's anything that you're unsure about, or if you have any concerns, um, in the Discord, we do have a feedback channel. Uh, it's our old ideas channel. I've renamed it to feedback for just... Any general feedback, whether it's about the stream, the Discord server, the community as a whole, um, you're able to reach out to me directly. So if you want to send me a DM, um, Discord is probably the best place. Um, that's that's probably the best way to, to, to get a hold of me is by DMing me in Discord um, or on Twitter. Um, but my point is, this is our community. We welcome and we love people here. And we don't stand for people Iceberg will steal who show, are disrespectful usual. of other folks. Troll, thanks for the, the host, buddy. And I'm, I'm not ignoring y'all in chat. I just, I want to get all of my thoughts out um, while, they're, while I'm having them. And I want to just make everything just put, I, I, I want to put all my cards on the table. Um, because we as humans need to do better, but especially people that look like me, frankly, we fucking need to do better. There's just, there's no excuse. We need to fucking do better. That being said, um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into some code. Um, I'm going to put on some uh, some chill background music. I'll probably put on the lo-fi girl stuff. Um, just so that we have something. And uh, that's it. Um, 
Oh yeah, Dom, we're, we're absolutely going to be testing in prod. Yes, sir. We sure are. Okay, let me go get music queued up. Um... <sighs> it has been... Been in, it's been a couple of days, folks. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, so, Louis, um, the way I have mine set up, because I have mine, my audio a little more complicated than normal, um, I actually have a specific um, audio channel for the music, so it I gets broadcast live, um, but it doesn't get um, put into the VODs, so this doesn't show up in the VODs. Kit, thank you for the lurk, and Tiny, thank you for that Prime sub, friendo. I love you very, very much. Um, for those of you who don't know Tiny Dino Nuggets, she is just a fantastic human being. Uh, our very, very dear friend and fellow Admiral's Fleet Captain Firepower, um, Tiny is his better half. Um, and if you don't know Fire, you should absolutely go see and know Fire. I, by the way, Tiny, I tell him he did an excellent job with the animated emotes. They're just so good. Um, thank you, Louie. No, I appreciate you, bud. I appreciate you. Um, so, yeah. But thank you, Tiny. I love you. I love you very, very much. Um, so let's see. Um, may need your help later with Google Login and .NET 6. Um, uh -huh. yeah. Good luck, bud. I, I haven't done anything in .NET 6 yet. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think I have anything in 6 yet. Actually, I don't think I've done... I haven't done much with 5 either. I'm still in, like, framework and, like, core... Well, I guess, like, some of my personal stuff is .NET 5, but not a whole lot of stuff. Um, Dom, you do spy a new Lolly profile pic, and he can tell you about that in a minute. Um, Fritz, it's always a fun time when you get new Legos. And, yes, I am with Pup. I would love to know uh, what you, what n new stuff that you got. Uh, Troll, if I'm not in the shower with you now, then I'm very disappointed. Dom, you are very, you are the best kind of DGens, and I love you very dearly. Um, let's see, there was an oha from a pup, and then a hidden, and a wisty, and I seen Matt back there, and PVD, and Dom doing his usual talking about the users, and there's a Vivian K s'mores. Um. Let's see. Same as Core three one. Oh, okay. I haven't done like OAuth shit in a while. I don't think you've even coded in .NET four X. Good lord. Uh, excellent troll. Excellent. Yeah, it's 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 true, Fritz. Like, pup is. She she has like the entire catalog of Star Wars Legos memorized. She knows what she's about, son. Tiny, I love you. I love you. I'm just trying to do the right stuff. I want to do right by folks. And like, I feel that, you know, this is our community, but I feel like I have a certain sense of responsibility um, that I, like, I, I need to be the one to, you know, make sure because ultimately everything that happens here is my responsibility. This is it's got my name on everything. So if I fuck something up, that's on me. Um so I want to make sure that you know when people think of our community, they think about, you know, making that they they want to they know that this is a community that they can that they feel comfortable in, that they feel safe in, that they have people they can trust. Um, that's, that's kind of it. Like, I just, that's what I'm trying to do here is make sure that we have the, Honk, the right kind of stuff. Honk, fuck off. Hi, Brian. <laughs> just, <laughs> that the, was topical. The, 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 the timing <laughs> is just, just, 
I love it so much. Brian, Brian, you're you're fucking amazing, bud. Uh, let's see. Dom's building the new Batmobile with Mini Dom. Oh man, let's see. Uh, can't even get yourself off the couch to feed the dogs tonight. Yeah. Pup does have the best doggos and the best kitties, except I'm very partial to the Loafy Loaf, who I love very much. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Um, you did wait, Brian, and I and I appreciate that. <laughs> if it said everything, we'd have. I love that you hit. It's a goose situation. There's. I feel like there needs to be like a TM there, like a goose situation TM. Um, where is your where is your sub sound? Let me go look. Uh, where is my do do do? Let's go test this in production. Uh, where is it? I moved a bunch of folder stuff around the other day, so... The other day. The other day. Ah, I know why. I know why. Let me see. Pop, try it again. I think it's. I think I fixed it. It should be okay now. I like. I move stuff around, so like I didn't. I didn't quite find like do the find and replace on the folders everywhere. I love you. There it is. There it is. There it then, Matt. You're right. There is never a bad time for a honk. Fuck off. The worst we can win your 24 inch monitors died, so using your spare 18 total size queen 18 isn't enough. Like, <laughs> oh my god, that's Dom. I love you, buddy. I love you so much. Ah, uh, that's fantastic. Okay, all right, we've gotten like all of the the preliminary stuff out of the way. Um, I, yeah, I think, uh, I think we're good. Again, if there's anything that you all need to, you want to talk to me about, have any questions, concerns, whatever it may be, let me know. That's what I'm here for. Um, this is our community, but it is my responsibility so I am here to do whatever I can to help y'all out to be there for y'all. Um, again, whatever feedback that you may have for me, um, please let me know in the feedback channel on the Discord. Um, if you, again, it's just like when it was just ideas, I can't promise that I you know, can implement everything um, or change everything. Because I, I have to do what I feel is in the best interest of the community as a whole. And what's within my abilities. Um, but this is, you know, this is what I'm here for. Is to, to try to feel that feedback. Um, <sighs> God damn it, Matt. I told you to practice weeks ago. If you're not ready for the competition by now then there's nothing I can do for you. You should have been practicing, ma'am. You should have been practicing. Honestly, I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. If you come in third place again, so help me God, don't you even dare think about coming into this house again. Third place back where I came from more, so help me. So help me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hey, I love you, Louie. Go take care of you, buddy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Think of the girls. Listen, listen. I'm only one bear. I can, I can only do so much. Also, hello, Miss Danielle. I love you. Um, don't forget your snack break. You're a snack break, Dom. Yeah. All right, let's see. Break your snack. If you're not first, you're last, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky, I was high when I said that. You could be second. You could be third. Hell, you could be fourth. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what if you come bearing more Xbox swag? Listen, don't you try to bribe me with shit that you know that I'll like. All right? I don't want to hear it. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Hi, Kitty. I love you, Kitty. Oh, my goodness. All right. Um, let me let me roll the, the old... Where's the old... Uh, the old news bar loop. All right, let's get it going. Zoop. Uh, oh, I should probably check and see what's in the news bar right now. Stream, streaming. What's in the news bar? News bar items. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing for retro night um, next Sunday. I have not decided yet. Um, I have a couple of ideas that I'm throwing around, but I don't know yet. The ideas that I have so far would be like a several week thing. And I don't know if I want to do those just yet. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to mess around with it and figure it out. Final Fantasy seven, the OG. See, I haven't played seven and I don't have a setup for... PSX stuff right now. Uh, seven's on Switch. Is it? Like OG yes. seven? Yep. Oh, well, that's good to know. How about I play a Sonic game? Ah, ah, ah. Well, fun fact: I already did. I already did. You nerd. Yeah. Fucking nerd. Nerd. Nerds. All right, let's see. Um, what do we have here? I don't need this guy anymore. I, I don't need... I, I have it on good authority that one Matt Calder enjoys Sonic games. Generations seems like... Seems like one that he particularly enjoys. We have, a, we have, rec we have, we have recorded evidence that Matt says that he likes Sonic Generations. He really enjoyed it. And then he went back through and he played it after the, he beat the game a Super Sonic. He was playing a Super Sonic, and he liked that too. <laughs> I am just saying. I am just saying. Pokemon Stadium with all the mini games. Oh, oh, hidden. That actually sounds really fucking good. Metholomew, damn, Matt. Pup's coming out for blood. Bob just yelled at you twice for not feeding him quickly enough. Pup. He pup. He's not mad. He's just disappointed and probably starving. Like he's wasting away. Like look at him. Clearly, he's wasting away. Um, trying to hydrate from a headache so far. Giving yourself brain freeze from the cold water. Kitty, no, kitty, no. You, you, no. You, you not, no. You not, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um. Okay. So let me. Let's move this baby down here. And then we're gonna go, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Where's the, where's the who'sy what's imaging? Oh, I don't need that. Yeah, I'm just gonna close this right now. Close other tabs. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna go to the GitHub. Let's go to the Jit Hub, right? That's what that's how you say it? Isn't that how we say it? That's not how we say it. That's not how we say it. Alright, and now let's go to this jig. Okay. Alright, here we are. The twice. He, yeah, it was twice. Like, not just once, but twice. When Bob says something once, you better listen. When he says when he has to say it twice, it's done. It's done. Jail. Jail for mother for a thousand years. Not the best hub site. Listen, Dom. Probably. It all depends on how you say... GIF. Oh, God. We're starting that again. Listen, Matt started it. Don't blame me. Blame Matt. Hashtag blame Matt. And we can all agree. Oh. Fuck Team Rocket. Well, okay. Listen. Fuck Team Rocket, but I still have a soft spot for Jesse and James. Also, also, uh, James, non-binary icon, you tell me. 
the, let the people decide. At the very least, gender non-conforming icon. Also, yeah, also Jesse, yes. Well then, yeah, it's it's <laughs> gift. It's pronounced like gift. Then yes, it's it's GitHub. Yes, that's right. Scandalous the moving image is not a kind of peanut butter. That's the moving image is not a kind of peanut butter. Pumpkin, absolutely. Pumpkin gets it. Love you, pumpkin. It's graphics graphics interchange format. <laughs> See, Kitty gets it. Kitty understands. Team Rocket from the games, not from the show. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, but Viv, but Viv, but Jesse, they introduced Jesse and James in Go and in Let's Go. So, uh, they are in yellow as well. That's true. They are in yellow. That's true. They did put them in yellow. Yep. Because they're like, when they're when it's not like the when you're not facing off against Giovanni or one of the grunts or scientists or whatever, it's Jesse and James. Mm, Drafik's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but the creator said. But the creator Jeff. said. Yeah, yeah. Well, because technology people have always been good at anything else in life. <laughs> naming convention we're really good at that oh yeah engineers. Just... eight commits ahead one commit behind the master branch let's go to where's my fork where's my v5 fork come here <laughs> it's two commits behind uh what commits are am i behind what windows 7 windows 8 listen dom we don't talk about that there were technical reasons behind that Okay, I'm going to fetch and merge. Uh, I'm going to stop the bot. Uh, I'm going to pull those three commits down. And I'm going to start the bot back up. Oh, fuck Team Rocket and Pokemon Blue and Mount Moon specifically? Yes, that's true. Yeah, Viv, who would still use Windows 7? That's so weird. We're starting to classes this summer on programming. Ooh, Tiny, what? Okay, Tiny, do you know what languages you're going to be taking yet? And, or is it one of those where it's like like an intro to programming where they don't tell you until like a week out and you have to buy the fucking book to scramble? Fuck Whitney with rollout and go, listen. Listen. Fuck Whitney and her fucking mill tank with fucking rollout. Yeah, Viv, who would use Windows 7 still? I don't know anybody like that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know anybody like that. No, not me. Not, not No, sir. I, I know not a single person like that. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Wrapping at my chamber door. <gasps> Is it the very good boy who loves G's? The uh, very good boy who loves cheese uses Windows 7? I mean, he might listen. He's he's not the smartest cat. He's very he's very sweet and loves cheese, but he's not the brightest boy. Uh, and also, he doesn't have much of a budget. <gasps> Kitty, Kitty's gonna go to Kitty. Is it? Wait, is it me? Did I book a spontaneous three day trip to Sweden to go see my chemical romance next month? No, wait. I'm going on my honeymoon next month. In this new world where we can talk about politics, can I ask about how excited I am for Warlocks to win the Guardian Games and Destiny because we're super crushing it? I don't know what that means. Those are I know those are words, but I don't know what those words mean. I have no idea what the words are that you just said to me, Matt. I understood. I don't know what the Guardian Games are, I but d Warlocks are a class in Destiny, uh -huh. and I'm going to assume that this is a voting contest or some kind of class warfare going on between the three classes in destiny that makes sense Ooh, what sequel. I'm gonna guess. <gasps> tiny's gonna be like you lolly she's gonna be taking a sequel class oh, wait, wait, wait why do you say like me you're the database guy don't I love you. 
Hey, look, it did it again because I restarted the bot. Bro, you, why am I the database guy? Because you're the database guy. I think I made that very clear. Why? Because you're the listen. You're the sequel guy, and you're now now you're the you're also the cosmos guy. I don't do database. I, did, I don't know anything uh, about databases. Fuck off. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to disable that for the time being if I'm going to be starting and stopping the bot. Let me go to. Yeah, I might have to. Let, let's just turn. Let's deactivate this for a little while because that's going to be that's going to be weird. Kitty, I'm so excited uh, for you. That's going to be such a fun time for you. <laughs> now that we are mostly past safe space, we are good to fuck with your lights again, right? Uh oh yeah. Let me go uh, turn the lights back on. Um, do do channel rewards and uh unpause the lights. Yes, you can fuck with the lights again. Go ahead and turn the lights off. Go and turn the lights off, no, you nerd. I'm... What? Oh, for the six nine this time. N nice, nice. Did you wanna did you wanna talk about your new avatar? Because it looks it's very I, good. Ooh, I have been meaning to get on because especially with how many new emotes you have been getting and everything, I just fucking love them. Uh -huh. They're so good. They are fantastic like, emotes. Like Zunder's emotes. Like, like go go check out Zunder's emotes. His his emotes are good. Thanks, and, buddy. And I finally got around to seeing Alanka's waitlist open. And actually getting around to emailing her, and so I was, I got, I got on, I got on the wait list, and I was like, I what, I want, I want my Umbreon, I want a shiny Umbreon wearing an N7 hoodie, uh, Mass Effect for anybody that doesn't didn't pick that up, and uh, drinking coffee because that is like quintessential me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fantastic. Can I can I show everybody what it looks like? Yeah, yeah. All right. Good. Let me let me grab the the one with the background because like the background like. Look at this. Like, this is just... Uh, well, they both and, have backgrounds. I, I like the, the one, darker one. The one I'm using is the... I I like the... The one that I have is white and blue. Yeah. And then that one, I'm assuming she went with the brown because of the coffee. And it just... It looks so good. Yeah. I love... She loves... She, it, the other thing is that she loves drawing Pokemon. She so does. she will make them a adorable if you ask her for a pokemon yeah she does she does she's she's so good she's so good um but yeah this is this is just another fantastic piece of artwork done by alonka um again who does all of my emotes um who does all of mo's emotes she's done emotes for tab for boz um for several folks um she's just fantastic um let me i don't know that i i don't think i let me. So that's her. That's her Twitter. Um, that's her Twitter profile. Um, let me go grab. Let's see. But yeah, that's so good. Like it's so fucking good. I love it. I'm I'm going back for more. Like the just like the color behind the eye too. Like just just mm -hmm. the, the level of detail in there. It's just. Buddy, if this isn't you, I don't know what the fuck is. If this if this I'm, is not your brand, you don't have a brand. Right. The I want to get um. I want to get an Espeon at mm. some point for Elena, mm -hmm. and then I want to I want to see what Alanka can do with our cat girls. Yeah, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Kitty, you're gonna have to take lots of pictures while you're on your trip so that we can we can see all of the fun stuff that you do in Sweden while you go be an elder emo. You know, now that now that they have a new single out and everything. So it's, okay, so let me let me just briefly go over the stuff that I worked on this week in Firebot. Um so Firebot has its own internal web server, okay? It serves up pages like the overlays that you see. Um, why did they... Oh, right, because the I restarted the bot. Uh, is it... There we go. That's, that's, that'll actually, no, that... 
Let me... There we go. Okay, is it back on? Okay, it's back on. Okay, so I have multiple overlays in Firebot that I use. Um, the news bar that you see, the white bar that's over over here, over, I guess, where the microphone arm is coming out of, okay? Oh, God, it's going to do this again. Okay, we're going to just... We're gonna we're gonna stop the news bar loop and just let it finish what it's doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I I get I thoroughly amuse what the hell's happening with that. I know, I know. I'm, it makes me happy. It's it's this is this is all my fault. This is my own fault. Um, so this is the news bar, and this is this is an overlay in Firebot. Uh, the stuff that you see, like the ice bear stuff that pops up, um, that's stuff in that's Firebot. Um, so I have multiple overlays that I use for stuff. Okay, I think it's I think it's good now. I think I can do it and let it run. It's some it's semi fragile the my the way I have my overlay logic. It's fine. It's I wouldn't worry about it. Um, so anyway, um, so I use the overlay for a lot of stuff. And the internal web server in Firebot runs all of that. So it makes the, like, because um, the overlays are just web pages. So Firebot serves up the web page. Um, it communicates back and forth. So, like, the, the bot that you see here, the back end of the bot will send stuff when it's time to send things to the overlay, like displaying the text that you see over there. Um, every time you see a piece of text roll, that's the bot telling the overlay, hey, I want you to show some text roll it in, do its thing, and then roll it out when it's done. Um, so that's all That's all Firebot doing its thing. Um, and then it's all, like, everything else is event-driven. So, like, follows, subs, cheers, raids, host, all that stuff. That's all event-driven stuff that the internal web server in Firebot tells the web page that the overlay runs on to do stuff. It's hidden, I've been thinking about doing that. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, it would give me more YouTube content for the YouTube channel that I currently don't have anything on right now, but I would appreciate if anybody would go and smash that notification bell and all that jazz. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want to do more stuff with it. I want to make sure there's interest in it. Um, but I, I, yeah, there's, there's a lot of Firebot stuff that I want to do. Um, and that's, that's kind of where I think my content is going to end up going with all of the, the, uh, the YouTube stuff, at least for a while. I mean, whatever troll, you know, whatever. Anyway, so the internal web server does that. It also does several other things. So for example, um, let's go back down here. So I can go see all of my custom commands that I have in the bot. Okay, uh, can I? Yeah, that's that's a little better. Also, I don't I don't care. Um, so like you can see, like here's the I have the lurk command, unlurk stuff for the socials, the Discord, the Crazen flavors, merch, Amazon links, stuff like that. Okay, that's all here. And then if I want to go and dig into it again as a programmer, I can go in and say, okay. Here's the lurk command. I can see the lurk command is active. It's not simple, so that means there's a bunch of extra stuff that it does in here. Um, there's aliases for like the BRB stuff. And then there's, here's the thing, you know, where it actually does the chat. It says Ice Bear will miss whoever while they're gone. Um, I joined YouTube in January of 07. Yeah, that's, yeah, buddy. I've, I've been there a while. Dom. Actually, you know what's funny? I'm kind of sad that I didn't swap my usernames on Twitch uh, because my other username, my backup, is actually older than this account. And this account is like, I want to say like this account is 2011, 2013, and the other one is like 2009 or something ridiculous. 
Like, let me look and see. Let me see. I can find this real quick. I can... Yeah, the one with my old username is 2009. So I have a Twitch account that is 2009. That is literally, literally 13 years old. Uh, actually, it'll be 13 in like two weeks, June 1st of 2009. Because it got migrated over um, in, in, with all like the, the Justin TV stuff. Like, so it, it is old. It is balls old. Um... Oh yeah, I I bet that was a really good show, pup. I would like I like I'm not like I have no problem with their music. I think they do great they do great stuff. I mean, it's not like my like genre of choice, but I would be mad to see that show. I'd love it. We did being me and Bean a couple of years ago did see the Killers live. Now that was a hell of a show. That was a fucking show, folks. Holy shit. Um Anyway, so the internal web server in Firebot powers a lot of stuff like communication back and forth between the overlays and the back end of the bot where things like the effects and events and all that run. So I got to thinking, I know I started working um, the other night on um, this command center, okay? And so, like, it's a static file, and uh, I can hit, like, you know, the Discord if I want it to send the Discord command over and actually run the command instead of just, like, sending it to chat. So this is actually telling the bot using this, this web API that it has built in to run the command. That's what it does. It just runs the command. It's great. Um, so... When I started building this, I was like, what if I could have it like, instead of building out this file and building out my own little server to do this, uh, what if I built it so that I could make a custom script in Firebot that would turn on its own web server? And so Firebot has support for custom scripts. Developers can go and build their own scripts. Um, there is a... Let's see, Firebot, custom, where's the starter script? Custom starter script, or custom script starter. So there's a starter package that uh, Biggs put out there a while back, um, and just updated not too long ago. Um, but the idea is if you wanna build a script that adds functionality into Firebot, as a developer, you can do that. And there's a lot of cool stuff that's out there already for it, for example, when I go live in OBS, you can see I have an event um, for, I don't think it's loaded right now, because um, of like the stuff that's, yeah, it's, things are kind of in limbo right now. Um, but there are events for when OBS gets started. Let me go see, let me see if my OBS events are broken. They might be. Uh, not that one. Yeah, so OBS events are broken right now because of the way the script stuff is sort of in limbo. Um, but the idea is that you can add in functionality to Firebot. So like Firebot doesn't support OBS out of the box. You have to go and get a custom script that does that. And Biggs, one of the developers of Firebot, actually made one. Um, and it's like a, basically a feature complete, Hey, here's, you know, not just a starter script, but here's like a real world script that does what you want it to do. Actually, I kind of want to go look at the log and see why it's not loading now, but that's neither here nor there. Um, anyway, the point is scripts add in feature functionality to the bot. So I thought, well, why not add the ability for, you know, to be able to prop up another web service so to have something totally different that runs from inside the bot. So I built a script and let me go to, oh, oh, maybe scripts aren't loading at all. <gasps> Are scripts not loading at all right now? No. 
Am I gonna have to go debug this? Yes, let's go figure it out. So mine isn't loading. Hi, Miss Ayla. All right, let me go to, let's go look at my scripts and see what's going on. All right, scripts. So they are in Do there. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Hot, hot dog. A JPEG is. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Thank you, Miss Halo. I'm gonna eat the trail mix, and I'm gonna have like an, a little extra bite because I owe Dom one from earlier. All right, so scripts aren't loading right now. I need to figure out what's going on with that. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a. That's a lot of trail mix. Okay, so. Um, mm. Okay. So I wanna go in and figure out why the, the scripts aren't loading. Cause I know that Biggs added in some brand new script code. So I might need to go figure out what's uh what's causing it to break. Let's go into the effects, we'll close all that out. Don't need the database code. Ooh. Oh I like that. Oh that's nice. Also, hi Star Wars Kid fan. Everyone please control yourselves. This is a mature Holy party. shit. And no! Hi, Nova. Ice bear good. More ice bear, more good. Oh my goodness. Welcome in, everybody. Um, I'll give everybody a chance to get settled while I look for... Ice bear good. More ice bear, more good. While I look for this uh, this thing here. Let's see. Should be... Ice bear good. Custom. More ice bear, more good. Good gravy. Thank you all, all for those follows. Um... Welcome in everyone. Um, as I'm sure Nova has told you, my name's Iceberg Underscore. More uh, I'm a More variety good. streamer. I do this four nights a week. Um, typically, we would be switching between Fortnite and Retro Night Iceberg tonight. Good. More Iceberg. Um, More good. Tonight would have been Fortnite, but due to some current events in the world, uh, I have decided not to do Fortnite tonight, and we're just doing a chill Iceberg coding good. stream. More Iceberg. More um, good. Good Lord. Thank you all, all for those follows. Um, I'm actually working on, you can see above my head there, I'm working on a follower goal for the month. So um, we are just now, looks like 23 more away from, 22 ice more bear away. More ice bear, more good. From getting uh, toward that goal. Holy mackerel, thank y'all all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ice bear, um, good. More ice bear, more good. So, yeah, uh, I, like I said, we decided, uh, or I decided I, that we shouldn't really play a game like Fortnite tonight. Iceberg so good. I wanted to have something more a little iceberg. more chill um, and just relax and, and work on some stuff in Firebot, which is the bot that I use. Uh, I know Nova uses it. and Yeah, exactly. How else are we supposed to test if not in prod? This is what we do. And Nova, I love you, baby. Thank you so much for bringing everybody over. Thank all of you for those follows. Holy mackerel. Um, that's just so, so, so wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you all so much. Um, all right, now I want to get back in here and figure out what's going on. So let me look and see what do we have here. So I want to run a startup script. And I want to see... Let's go to our logs, because we have... And by the way, I know you see this over here on the left, I absolutely have a folder that is literally just pictures of Loaf. Like, starting from the day that we got her from the shelter. It, this is literally just a folder full of Loaf pictures. It's just, it's just loaf. It's literally just loaf. It's all loaf. This is my cat. 
like this one. Like this is my little sweet cinnamon roll kitty baby. This is my kitty baby. Where is my kitty? So oh, small, so cute. That's my kitty, and that's her little face, and I love her, and that's her little snoot that I boop very much, and she gives me kisses from right here. That's where she gives me the kisses from. She's the best. She does loaf. She very much does loaf, and she's excellent at it. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find. There we go. Is this a? Oh, that one's Iceberg that good. one. She's not loafing so much, but okay. like, this is like the glamour shot right here. Like, look at that baby. Look at her. What a kitten. What a baby. Look at the loaf. She's. She's just, she's just a precious baby, and she's so small and so sweet. She, that's my loaf. She's the loaf. Oh, might come in here. Maybe she'll come in here. And we'll get a, we'll get a loaf cameo. But yes, this is. I know six hundred ninety nine is not enough loaves. Oh, oh, wait. Is this a loaf? There she is loafing. There's a loaf. She's loafing. She That's literally... not a loaf. That's a predator. <laughs> She's not a predator. We're blooping. Bloop, 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 bloop. The baby. Look at the baby. She's just a baby. Look at the baby. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll look at more loaf later. Um, She's such a pretty baby. Oh, I got, a, I got the can of cranberry sauce ready, but... Don't do it. Don't do it tonight, Danielle. Cause I had a I I couldn't even finish dinner, so my uh my tum tum is not actually I'm gonna go ahead and just let me just go pause that for this stream. Just to make sure that no one accidentally hits it. I can't sure get lost in the sauce today. Here. Huh? You're crushing people's hopes and dreams over here. Listen, we can do we can do get we can get lost in the sauce tomorrow. Okay, but today I just I don't I don't have it in me. All right, so let's go look in our logs. Is this actually okay? Well, that's not bad. Okay, let's see. Let's look at our running startup script. Failed to run startup script. Okay, okay. It cannot read property user command of undefined. So let's go into the script. Oh, that reminds me. If he changed the script, did he publish a new? No, he hasn't published a new version of it. Oh, because it doesn't do it yet. Okay. Can't get lost in the sauce when you already got lost in dinner. It's true. It's true. You accidentally hit last time. You definitely need to. You get get the heck out of here. You get out of here. I was saying like it. Oh, oh my God, pup! You go, go bonk Mike one for me. Just give him, just give him a good bonk. Oh. All right, let's go see what is going on in here. So, uh, nope, that's my. Well, that's this is my script. I can just. Hide the terminal. All right. Execute script. Startup script config. Okay. Hmm. Then the error that we get is error while running script. Failed to serialize arguments. Failed to serialize arguments. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is the old log. This is the other one. Here's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, user command of undefined. All right, this is in doop, doop, doop. Build run request. Oh, it's in the helper file. Okay. Build run request. I feel like this is new. I feel like this is new. <gasps> I love you, Nova. Go enjoy your din dins and tell us what you got, because I love din dins. Tonight we did basically like 
homemade shake and bake, which is really just me taking chicken breast fillets and like covering them in seasoned panko crumbs and putting them on a sheet tran and sheet pan and spraying them down. <laughs> nice, Dom. I love Dindins. I love Dindins. <laughs> Shake and bacon. I helped. That's right. Let's see. Okay. Um, if I have a build run request, I feel like there's something here. Um, let's go back to, I don't care about this right now. I care about this. Okay. Let's look at our stack trace. I don't trays. know if it's you coming to me, your your voice coming to me, or if it's just a stream. It doesn't sound like a stream, but you sound like you're now in a, you're talking through, like, tube. Uh, it's probably Discord. It, like, just started. Okay. I re, uh, I re jiggered the audio service, so hopefully. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're, they're saying oh. it's chat saying that it's. Oh, that's weird. You. Huh. That's really weird. Well, thank yep. you. Yep. Also, hi, LT. It's still echoing. Yeah, you're still doing it. Still doing it. Okay. Hold on one second. I bet I know what it is. Ice bear good. More ice bear. More good. Okay, how does my how does my mic sound now? Hey. Is that better? Yeah. Voice mod freaked out and I had to restart voice mod. Okay. Hi Evie. Also thank you for that follow scalper. Appreciate it. Um okay, so so apparently in the custom script helpers, when we do our build run requests, there's Cannot read property user command of undefined. Okay, so let's go in here. Let's find all references. So we just have this one. Okay. Find all references to this. Really? Okay, then where are you calling it here? There we go. Thank you. Ah, uh, I see what's happening here. Okay. So we've got... I'm just going to do this. Okay. Let's try that. Now, let's restart the bot. And, yeah, it's fine. Hi, Ranger. How you doing, buddy? Ah. Uh, much bot, many code. It's true. It's true. Hi, Butter Kitty. Oh. It's still gibberish. It's just, you know, gibberish that sometimes works. All right, let's get rid of that. Now let's oh, see if our... well, I, uh, I was hungry, and well, you know, when when you crave hands, that's why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for hands. Give me a break. Carl, Carl. I was making the rumblies Carl. that only Carl. hands would satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I well, I kill people, kill people and I eat hands. hands. That's, 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 two, that's things. two things. I love that so much, Carl. We need a firebot for non leave dead series on YouTube. Listen here, I also love llamas with hats. I do too. Oh my god, it's so fucked up. Llamas with hats is fucked up on the same level that Charlie the Unicorn is. <laughs> Come to Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain. 
Shun the non-believer. Shun. Shun. I do that way too well. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Come play with us, Charlie. What the hell is that? It's a magical Leoplaridon. It's come to show us the way to Candy Mountain. You're going to get yourself... Oh, Viv, get some... Buddy, you better get some food. I love you. Get some foods. <laughs> I love all the shuns in chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's so bad, but so good, but so bad. It's so good, but so bad. Uh... Uh, starfish, starfish. No, not nope, not doing it. Uh, okay, so now that I fixed the the loading issue, um, so here's where you can see like how scripts can add in custom things, like when a scene is changed in OBS, when the stream starts or stops. Uh, things like that. That's where OBS is, like the, the OBS control script adds that stuff in. Um, oh, damn it, pumpkin. <laughs> uh, it's just over this bridge, Charlie. No, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. Um, so what I want to do with mine is... So I have this custom, I have this command center web server running. So I got that, I got the, like the custom web server all up and running so that scripts could add their own, they could start up their own web servers. So I was talking to the dev team about it and they're like, what if we found a way to actually allow scripts to add their own stuff to the built-in Firebot API, but while the bot's running? Typically, when you set up a web server like this, you, especially like the way it works in um, with uh, Express, which is the web server that we use um, in the fire in Firebot, um, you define all the stuff that it's going to listen for, and you say, "Okay, here's all the stuff that this web server is going to do. Let's go get get ready and go." And you can do things like like you can specify like listening for different parameters so it's like you know like um you know i know this custom command is going to have like this command id here at the end so it's like all right i know this parent this command id parameter is going to come in i can handle that when i do it up um but adding stuff at like while the bot is running like after the web server started isn't quite as simple um Cuber, I'm working on uh, Firebot, so it's the the bot that I use for stream here. Um, it's been it's it's a several years old project made by an amazing community of people, um, and I'm a well, I'm one of the contributors to Firebot now, so I work on stuff in the bot and kind of add on functionality to it. Um, so I'm talking about some of the internal web server stuff that I've been working on this week. Yes, that's it. That's the one, Evie. Yep. Um, I am not a lead dev. I'm not on the dev team. I am not the CEO. I want to make it very clear. I am a community contributor. I'm just another Yahoo on GitHub throwing code at this thing that has already been well established. You, Evie, you're fantastic at the link magic and I appreciate you, friend. Did someone say internal web server? I did, Nova. I did. Yahoo! Okay, no, I'm not doing that again. I'm not a bl oh blue badge. Don't say blue badge. Blue badge. Blue badge gives me feelings. Only Microsoft people will understand. I'm not renaming it to Zunderbot. It is not Zunderbot. It is Firebot. Um. So anyway, so uh, the dev team was talking to me about this and like, do you think we could set it up? And it might not be possible with the way that it's built right now. So we might have to push it out to version six, which is going to be a complete rebuild of Firebot from the ground up. Um, oh, an Azure badge. Oh, Butter Kitty. Ooh, ouch, ouch. Um, 
so it's going to be a complete rebuild. So we might have to wait to do it until then. And I'm like, I'm going to find a way. I'm going to do it. So I set this little bad boy up. So in this this server manager here, so I can start and stop a like a oh, I can create a new server and start it up and stop it. No big deal. That's as far as this kind of stuff goes. It's fairly trivial to to start up a new web service in a Node application like Firebot, but adding in the custom route stuff isn't quite as it's it's not like standard out of the box. So I thought, okay, how can I do this without adding on additional stuff? So I'm like, all right. Everything that adds in its own custom route, so it's like its own custom thing into the bot, it needs to have a prefix, something that identifies it as part of that script. So for mine, for example, my script I'm calling the Firebot Command Center. So my custom routes will all have the Command Center prefix. And then they will have like slash whatever at the end of that to indicate what page or what API endpoint I want them to, to be. So I go in here and I can say, okay, I know I need to have a prefix. The route doesn't necessarily have to be anything if it's just listing for like just slash command center, for example. I can, that's, that's okay. We wanna be able to allow that because maybe this script literally just adds like the one thing that's zero out of 10 fire, no, not firebot, mcbot bot. <laughs> nice. Uh, so you want to do a butt quote? Oh God. Oh God. Butts. <laughs> so then we have to have a method. Okay. So when you're accessing a website or a, a web API of some kind over HTTP, if you ever see like the HTTP HTTPS at the beginning of a, of a URL of a web address, that tells us how we talk to the web server. So HTTP in this case is hypertext transfer protocol. It's how stuff talks to each other on the web for a vast majority of the part. Um, in HTTP, there are different methods, basically like it's basically you're saying what you're doing. Okay. Um, so for a lot of stuff, the two big defaults are get and post. Okay. So get is just saying, Hey, give me this, give me whatever is at this address. Okay. So if you go to google.com, you go get google.com. And then there's all the other stuff that's on the page and scripts and everything. And the browser is telling the, the web server, get all of these things. Now say you do a Google search and you put something in that search bar and you click the search button. Then at that, in that case, you're typically doing a post where you say, now in Google's case, it's not a post because they do over the, the, the URL, but that's not the point. The point is like typically when you submit a form on a website, that's a post and it takes all of that data and it sends it off and it says, hey, I'm giving you data to do a thing with, okay? And then you tell me what, what the result of that is. So that's what a post typically is. Um, get good, yes. They are verbs, they are verbs. Well, they're, but they're, they're technically called H they're, they're HTTP methods. Okay. Um, so they are verbs to define what you want to do, but they're not always verbs because length is not a verb. Options is not a verb, but those are methods. So trawl, don't you get snippy with me, buddy. But for the most part, it, they are verbs, things like get post, put, delete, patch, things like that. Those are a lot of the common ones. Um, so I want to know, you know, when I listen, when, when I have my script, listen for this, what, a, like, what method am I listening for? Like if, am I just, you know, getting stuff, if I, am I just having stuff, you know, like having people get stuff from me? Do I want them posting data to me? Things like that. Um, I got nothing snarky for delete. I mean, fair, fair. Um, so then we, we want to call back. And what a callback is, is basically saying, hey, when this thing happens, tell me what you want to do. Give me like the block of code that you want to run when the thing happens. So when someone calls the specific address that's built out with this prefix in this route, 
and they use this method to do it, the callback is all of this is basically like the function that's that runs to do whatever with the code. Okay. So then what I did was I said, all right, let's build this out. Let's normalize this whole thing out. So we build out like a normalized prefix. We like mark it as all lowercase. Um, we, for the route, we mark it as lowercase and we take off the trailing slash because we don't want that trailing slash there. Um, we make the method uppercase because methods like, as you can see from trawl in chat, HTTP methods are always in uppercase, like get, post, put, delete, things like that. Um, I would love to delete pants.exe. That would just be fantastic. Thank you. Um, there are callback functions in eBPF. Yeah, exactly. Anywhere where you have like some kind of event that occurs and you want to do a thing after that event or that thing is done with what it's doing, you want to have your code do something else, you typically have a callback. Um, and that's really what, what, what's going on here. So we normalize all this data so that it goes in, in a standard format. We build out what we, what the full path is going to be the full route. And then we say, okay, this is all good. Um, if there's already one in the table that matches that we're like, nope, sorry, can't do that. There's already one there. And if all of that checks out and everything's good. Then we add it to this array, okay? This custom routes array where we have all this data already in there. So we know what's gonna happen. And we say, all right, you're good. Now we have this new integrations endpoint that's here. And what the integrations endpoint will do is it will tell me everything that has been added into the bot by a script. Any scripts that have added in their own like stuff in here, the bot will then know exactly what it is because it's in that list, in that array, okay? Um, so let me go back here in my script because I have mine set up to also unregister. I think I still have it set to unregister. Or did I, oh, no, I think, I don't think I rebuilt it. Let me go back and rebuild that. And then I'll restart the bot. Yeah, we, we can restart the bot real quick. All right, bot's restarting. All that stuff is happening over here. Blah, 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 blah. There's a bunch of stuff. I don't really care about the terminal right now. Also, I'll hide it. And so now I registered both of those things. You can see here we have both this command center status and this command center home. And if I come back over here and do a git, blah, there's our command center status and our command center home. And if we click on this one, you see, we actually get a nice pretty web page back because that's what I told it to send back is a web page. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care right now, Postman. You want to hear something dumb? Yeah, I want to hear something dumb. And it's it's on brand too because we're coding. Uh, Azure table storage. File storage? Yeah. Upload limit of four megabyte, by the way. On a file. Can you break it in so chunks and to, send it? You shit. That's what you have to fucking God do. God damn it. <laughs> of course. Of course. You have to break it into fucking chunks. So, you know, be using do my... Do I look like my, I know uh, what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Hot, hot dog. Hot dog. I know what a JPEG is. I just want a picture of a god god dang hot dog. No, 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 no. I'm using my uh, 1440p uh, screenshots from Final Fantasy 14 to test this file uploader, which some of those are definitely over four megabyte. Ugh. I know, Core. It's it's some weird visual glitch with that overlay, like. It's the sound alert overlay. I don't know why. 
<laughs> Marquee. I fucking love Marquee. I think it's been removed now. I think like nobody supports Marquee anymore, which makes me sad. Um, so here you can see I have this integrations command center home. And here's the hello from the command center that my script added. There it is, test page. Hello from the command center. So, yeah. It's still there. It's deprecated, but it still works. Ooh. Fuck it, we're doing it. Okay, we're doing marquee. We're doing marquee. We're gonna see if it works. We're gonna do it just. <laughs> we're gonna do it just for just for shiggles. All right, we're gonna close out the bot so that I can reload the script. Um, I know that this... Biggs is working on like dynamic loading of uh, even startup scripts. So um, once once he finishes his work on that, we won't have to restart the bot every time we make a change to a script. Yeah. As as my boss, can you give me permission to use Marquee if, if it works? It's deprecated, so technically I can't give you that permission. It would be irresponsible of me to give you permission to do a... Um, a deprecated web technology. But what if we used it anyway? What if you didn't know about it? I oh I will God. find out. But it but it fucking works. Look at that. It fucking works. Oh, I don't have my camera going to you. No wonder you're there. Is that better? That should be better. There we go. So anyway. Um the the marquee tag trawl it's deprecated so we shouldn't be adding it to 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 new stuff but yeah there it is it's it's still there it still works what would frame rate that thing moves at i don't know like that's that's that is smooth for for deprecated well it's just because it's i mean it's it's probably the hamster dance i know i i love the hamster dance um but I mean, it's all, you know, it's all GPU accelerated, so. I'm sure on this screen, it's probably 60 FPS. It's solid, though. Pretty solid. Anyway, so that's the, uh, that's the, that's what that looks like. Um, so I've, I can actually add my own custom stuff into the internal Firebot API now, and it all goes under this integrations umbrella so that I can do things like status, and there it is. So I can actually see, hey, the command center is running. Now, the only thing that I can't do that I can do like normally is do something like, I can say like command center slash thing slash 42. I can't add in parameters like this. If I were to hard code it, it would be fine. I can't add in like a parameter here just because it's, I mean, I, I guess technically I could, but that's, there's a lot of like, there'd be a hell of a lot more logic that I would have to add to it. So rather I would do like thing ID equals 42, which is essentially the same thing. It's, you're not going to get anything like thing, but equals Butts equals yes. Just for you, Butter Kitty. Butts equals yes. And four equals Butter Kitty. And then if I go here, I can just go in my script and I can say, I'm going to add a query for the request query object. Here we go. It's probably still going to cache it. 
Oh wait, I have to do th not thing. I could do status. Yeah, so I'd have to restart the bot again. So we'll restart the bot. Your wife has become a butt fluencer once more. Listen, Evie. She knows what she's about. Can you blame her? Okay. I, I is butt fluencer. And now we go, hey, look. Butts, yes, for Butter Kitty. There it is. There you have it right there. So if I need, you know, if I want to pass in some kind of parameters, I can do them over the query string, which is, you know, fairly standard anyway. Um, guess you can't make a command to restart the bot and saves, close, and reopen the UI. I can't make a command to restart the bot. And, um... I mean, I probably could if I had some kind of like hook to VS Code, or like did something over the command line. Um, but it's just kind of like, eh. like I'm not doing it a whole lot normally. So this is really just a matter of where's this damn thing? Where's my loop? We'll start. We'll just click that back on. There we go. Um, so yeah, so I can set this up, have it dynamically send data to my script and have the script just go on and do its thing. Um, so the idea is what I eventually want to do is I want to take this and build a page that spits this out from inside of my script. Um, I guess I could do that. Let's do this. Let's go, uh, go main.html and screw it. Let's just go put the, go put the, where's that file? Stream files. Let's open this bad boy with code. Sure. There we go. All right, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste this into here. And we're going to call this Firebot Command Center. And then I'm going to start doing some stuff in here. So let's go. Ooh, late to a meeting. Dummy. Dom's going to be late to a meeting that's probably over because it could have been an email anyway. Uh, so let's see. So there's Firebot Command Center. Here's my... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put in, like, tokens. So I want to do something like... I want to tokenize this a little bit so that I can go in and replace text where I, I, I want to. And then I want to go in here and add in parameters. So um, I'm going to take out the the port. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this. But we just want to have the custom routes, which is okay. Um. I want this as a string. I want this to be bot. I guess we could do this, yeah. That's fine. The stream could have been an email, that's fair. The dude you're talking to is going to make you a place on Spotify some of his favorite music. Oh, well, that's sweet. Uh, why are you angry? Uh, 
Oh. I want page title. Okay. And I want page title string. There we are. Okay. That should be fine now. Beautiful. Because there's our params. And our get default parameter is params, the params up top. Okay, so there's our, we want a page title. I want a host name. Uh, what are you angry about? Oh, because I don't have it. Neat. Okay, and I want to add host name here. Host name, string, default, host. Host name, enter the default is local host. Local host. Okay, so we can do that. Do 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 do. That's true. That's true. If you go look in, go in the Discord. Where's the? Oh, I have a button for that. Haha. -ha. Discord. If you go in the Discord in the selfies and stuff channel, uh, you will find a picture of Pup in her new hoodie that matches Nova's hoodie. Also, um, you might find a picture of me in there with the wee baby niece. We were hanging out today doing bear and bear cub stuff like sitting around and um you know her wearing her kidarino onesie ah that's wee baby niece with her little kidarino onesie look at those cheeks look at those cheeks and her little like kind of mohawk there that's the wee baby niece though she presh. She's so funny. Okay. Let's go back. There we go. All right. So then let's see. I want to. Okay. So I got the page title and the host name. Okay. Let's do. And here I want to go and say const page contents equals how do I load a file in node load file as string. Hey look there's a thing for this. Uh, oh. Perfect. Okay, well that seems like it makes too much sense. Okay. Okay, read file sync main.html.to string. Perfect. Page contents. All right. No get lost in the sauce tonight. I can't do the sauce tonight. My tum is not in a place to do it. <gasps> Nine. Oh, you're entering month six of your gift sub from the pup, eating dinner so you won't have the sound on, having pork loin and asparagus and rice. <gasps> Ooh. I had chicken and asparagus and tomatoes. But I love you. Thank you. Mwah. Listen, if you're not following 9.5... Iceberg will steal show, I, as usual. I don't know what to tell you. That's wrong, and you should, you should remedy that at your earliest convenience, because 9.5... It's just an absolutely fantastic human being. Also, thank you for the host. I love you. Um, she's wonderful. She's very crafty. She's a fiber artist. Um, her fiber poison of choice is typically yarn uh, because she does a lot of crochet and knit. Um, so she's just the fantasticest. And I, you know, yeah, yeah. Nova, you tell Q that if she wants to come hang out with us, she's always more than welcome to. I think she's wonderful, and I would like to hang out with her more often. Iceberg will steal show, as usual. 
Danielle, thank you for the host as well. I love you. All right, let's see. I want my... I want to replace, where's that title? And I want to replace it with parameters.page title. And then I also want to do replace, let's do a, I want a function build firebot host. And I want this to be Return. Yep. I want percent percent host name colon port. Yes, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. Uh, hooray! You drank a liter of water and your headache went away a bit. Good. Good kitty. Drink enough water. Take care of yourself. You don't want it? Okay, I will eat it. Thank you. Thumb. Goodbye. My head doesn't hurt. Goodbye. Go drink your own water. Get out of here. There's water. Ellie. Yeah, that's Ellie. She Ellie. was, yeah. That's Ellie Belly. I love her. She's my little bear cub friend. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to eat a little bit of this cookie cake that Bean had like a bite left. Okay, so... I want to do so that should work there and that should work there so then what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll go replace the host name with host name and I'll go page contents replace port with, uh, I need, I also need the settings manager. Where's the settings? Is it just settings? Where are my Firebot custom script types? What do I get from my modules? Do I get Firebot settings? Where in the hell are the settings? I swear to God, there were settings. Oh yeah, Evie, I turned off the hat tonight. I just, after the beginning of the stream, I had an extremely serious discussion about some stuff. Um, and I just wasn't feeling the hat. I didn't think the hat kind of matched the mood. So I temporarily turned off the hat for tonight, but I will turn it back on for tomorrow for MMO Mondays. There it is. There it is. That's... God bless you, Nine. I love you. Do we not have a way to get settings out of this thing? Oh! I, mean, well, I, uh, I was hungry, and, well, you know, when, when you crave hands, that's... Why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for hands. Give me a break. Carl! My stomach was making the rumblings Carl! that only hands would satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I, I kill people and I eat hands. That's, that's two things. That's just fantastic. We have a settings...
Oh, oh, it's in Firebot dot settings. Okay, 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 okay. When I do run, can I do? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Firebot dot settings dot web server. Oh my God, really? Is that a thing? Shut the front door. That's already in there. I don't even have to do it. I don't even have to do it. Okay, so theoretically, Oh, wait, does replace do... Oh, I bet it returns, because strings are probably immutable. So let's see. Uh, JavaScript string dot replace. Is it immutable? I don't want that one. I want the one from... I want Mozilla. I want MDN. Uh, returns a new string. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so it does return a new string. So then what I can do is I can go page contents equals page contents dot replace dot replace dot replace. And I'll make this a, a let. I guess I could piggyback the whole thing. Is that, does that seem terrible? Like a terrible idea? Maybe? Do I care? No, no, I really don't. All right, so we get the page contents. We read the file. We save it to a string. We replace all the stuff. And then we send it down. Okay. I'm, I, this should work, theoretically. Yeah, the land boat, it was a, it was a Fortnite thing. It was. It told me I would never be immutable, so guess what? I'm mutable. Dang. Dang, Nova. Dang. It's butter kitty. It's just a thing where you like you can take the the boat out of the water. Like you can take the the speed boat, and then you can like use the boost to drive it across land. Not terribly effectively, but you can. And it's pretty hilarious when you get it to work. Lala, well, you're gonna have to jump in and explain that reference to me because I don't know that reference. You're the, you're my SpongeBob guy. Uh. Which one am I? Every time I turn, return a big value like this from a code system, I always think of SpongeBob bringing it around town. Oh, yeah. That's how you blow bubbles, bud. You have to bring it around town. No. Bring it around town. See? You See, know, lollies. First you, do, first you do this. Spin <laughs> around three times. Stomp on your right foot. Don't forget it. Then it's time to bring it around town. Amazing. Bring it around town. Nova, could you post that link in the random channel in Discord so I can find it later? Because I want to watch that later. That sounds hilarious. <laughs> that is, that is vintage SpongeBob. Nova knows what she's about. Okay, so we're going to try this now. So I'm going to go ahead and I have this stuff here. Okay, I got my page title. I've got my host name. I'm going to go ahead and build this. Uh, let's go to the settings. My scripts. Okay. There's my page title. So I want this to be. Uh, I want this to be Zunder Stream Control Center. And we're going to make the host name Zunderstruck because that's the name of my PC. Okay? Fan friggin' fantastic. Now, it'll make sense once you watch it. I, I imagine it will. I just never watched much SpongeBob, so I just don't know. Okay, so we don't have the ability to, to reload the startup scripts just yet. So we will close.
Or if we do, I don't know how. Fine, I'll figure it out later. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. Are we running? Yes. Now, if we go back to the page, let's see if this works. Hey, look, no such file or directory open main.html. Well, that's just peachy keen. Huh. Okay. Oh, I guess that gets built in with it, doesn't it? So I need... Uh, I wonder if I can... Script output name. Will the copy build also do that? I don't know that it will. I don't know that it will. It's like Garth Plan from Wayne's World. Okay, now that I understand. You have read the Twitter. Okay, that's the script output name. That'll copy it. Okay, so that copies that. I think I'm going to have to include... Can I do that? Like, is that a way... Node read... Um... No, I guess I'm going to have to include it, aren't I? Because I think in the Firebot folder... We pull overlay.html as a file. <gasps> Hello, Karen. Sunday's the best day to spread some lo love all over you. I love you. I love you very much, Karen. I'm so glad to see you. I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Wayne's World! Wayne's World! Party time! Excellent! <laughs> I haven't watched uh, Wayne's World in so long. Either one of them. Uh, welcome back, Fritz. I missed you, buddy. You're stuck in a Facebook opening and closing loop? Oh, no. Viv, no. Viv, no. Viv, do, what did you eat? Did you eat? We're going to go in my main profile. We're going to go in my scripts. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy that file over and see what happens. So let's go. Can I do that? Will it do that? Is that legal? I don't think that's legal. Let me reveal in File Explorer. Okay. This may actually work, which if it does, I will have to redo how things work in here, but it'll be fine. Just a soup dinner for you. Sometimes you just need a, a good soup. You deleted Facebook today? Nice troll. I can't delete Facebook. Um, I need to continue having an account mostly for um, a couple of pages that I'm administrators for. Other than that, I don't use it. Do not use it. I go on every few weeks to see, hey, what notifications do I need to delete? And then that's basically it. I just go through and get I rid of a it. profile picture today. Can you, you did, guess to what? I don't, I can't imagine what. I mean, I have no clue what I would have changed it to. It definitely wouldn't be some kind of original artwork that is Pokemon related that you just had commissioned from a favorite emote artist of the stream. Oh, no, I never, I would have never done that. No, absolutely not. You use it for Messenger, that's it. I also do use it for Messenger. We do have a family group chat that's like me, Bean, um, Bean's mom, and Sydney and Andrew. That's, you know, and to find out last names of people, that's true too. Fun fact, I have learned that if that's if, if your thing is I literally just use Facebook for Messenger, uh -huh. um, you can deactivate your account. Like, you can say that I want to stop using Facebook, but I do still want to use Messenger. And it will, oh. it will deactivate most of your profile. Oh, that's good to know. But still let you use Messenger. Unless they took that away in the last few years and while I wasn't looking, which is very probable because I don't pay attention to what Facebook does. I'm going to put this in Sorry, here. Sorry, I don't pay attention to what Meta does. Um, grumble, grumble, grumble. <laughs> okay, so that's not 
figure it out from anywhere where it is. So let's go node open file as string or read file as string. So let's go in here because I, I want to see if there's a way to do this without having to copy it over. Uh, wait, can I do a require? <laughs> That's so meta of you. Let's see what the require versus import does. Oh, see, okay. That's just, uh... Wonder if I can do read project file to string. See, here's the... Listen, Nova, I love my Bing. I, I, I can't help it. I just, it's just what I do. I'm gonna take your tired, grumpy, sad self and crawl into bed. I love your face, pup. Listen, go get some rest. Go feel better. We'll talk tomorrow. Love your face. Right, let's see what this thing says. Let's let's see what we we'll go into here. See, this is, oh, there's no need for the two string. Okay, well, that's good. Okay. And uh, for service, I need blah, blah, blah. right. Okay, okay. Uh, Troll, have a good night, buddy. I love you. Appreciate you. Go get some rest yourself. <laughs> Big old cuddle puddle. We had a cuddle puddle last night in uh, our guest bed. I had I was laying there, and Bean was asleep, laying next to me, and then the loaf was curled up in the little cinnamon roll. It was very good. Very, very good. Let me see something. Where, when we do it in the server manager. And based on serve static. Well, what the hell? I want to see, can I get code on this? No, I don't think I can. Not without di diving too deep into it. It's sent for a cuddle, then you have to be a cuddle puddle, just a regular cuddle. We can make that happen. I mean I I'd be I'd be down for that. Commit send for a cuddle. Let's work on a Sunday, then cuddles. Nice, Dom. Nice. Oh, let's see. What's in resources other than the Uh, 
There's nothing in there. That's the, uh, I don't care about you. See, I don't understand why. I don't want to understand why it can't read. Maybe it's because of the, the context, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, excuse me, Matt. Um, know you? Oh, yeah, I bet, Viv. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's see. Uh. His last name is Blewett. Oh my god, dumb, you stop that. Way less exciting than a suddenly salad. Oh, I do love a suddenly salad. I do. Like a good suddenly pasta salad. I'm there for it. I'm there for it. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how I can read this file. I may not, I may not be able to. I may not be able to... No, this is... That's reading it from... Well... Better than suddenly Susan. That's did I try reading with my eyes? No. I did not read with my eyes. That's no. That's probably not gonna work, honestly. Well, let me read before we turn okay. I'm gonna look at something. Let's go to the docs. Let's go to the long term. We're going to file system. Okay. I'm gonna read file. Let's see, read file sync. Okay, let's go in here. Go here. Yeah, and here and here. Look, look with your special eyes. My brand. Well, they were whispery nights. Dom, you stop that. I was supposed to about monitoring files for changes that was eye opening. Yeah, I like I I can see the use case, but like that's just there's a lot that goes into that.
there a thing at the top about pathing? No. Let's go back to read file. Viv, I love you, buddy. I hope you get lots of good sleepies and you have a wonderful day tomorrow. I'll talk to you in the morning. I love you. Where does, I wonder where Firebots, where's the executable live? Is it in program files? Oh, I ate it. Oh, uh, I didn't think it was. I don't think where it actually lives. Oh, I guess I could just, you know, do this. Times the last night you have to sleep by yourself. Nice, Matt. Nice. I'm, I know you'll be glad that Aaron's going to be home. Oh, right, because I'm not running it from there. I'm running it from there. Over there. Over there. Yeah. Because I'm not running the regular one. Notepad. Notepad does have dark mode. Notepad. Notepad has dark mode. They rewrote Notepad. Look, there's a settings cog wheel here. You can choose your theme and your font from inside the settings cogwheel and go back because it's a UWP or it's a WinUI app now. Notepad has dark mode. Just throwing that out there. Hmm. Yeah, it may be because of the way that I have it built. So what I may need to do is it's not the only reason to go to 11. It may be your only reason to go to 11. It's not the only reason to go to 11. All right. So then what I may need to do is instead of doing this, I think I'll do a, let's do, let's do a page.ts. And what I'm going to do is in there, no, in, let's go, uh, const command center page equals, can, how can I, will that work? Can I escape these? Oh, wait, I can't do it that way. Shh, Nikes. How can I go? <gasps> Nova, bedtime. I love you, Nova. Thank you again for the raid. I love you very much. Mwah. Go get all the sleepies and tell Q that we love her too. How can I? Oh no, that's see, that's not gonna work. I need to do. Oh, 
Oh, I can do that. Okay. All right. Well, then we're going to do that. We're going to escape the text in here. Uh, I'm going to do us a uh, find and replace. Okay. Replace that, 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 and that. Then we're going to find us all the dollar signs. And we're going to place them with that. So we're going to go next, next, replace, 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 replace. Okay. And that should be all good. Okay. Right. Oh. Uh. Can I just export it down the bottom? How the hell can I do this? Aw, Nova, give her lots of love from us. Dom, love you, buddy. Okay, um, I'm gonna... Can I do... Can I do this? Does that work? That works. What don't you like up here? Oh, okay, okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. So yeah, because we're using TypeScript, so this will let me do that. All right, so beautiful, lovely, fantastic. All right, so now, then when I come in here, I will go page equals require page, page contents equals page dot does that not work is it, do you do you Okay, now let's see if, wait, what are you angry about now? What identifier, where? Identifier expected, where? Oh. Oh, because I put the extra period. Rar, what's up, buddy? How are you? Good to see ya. Rar, how you been? I saw you were uh, perhaps playing some kind of a Final Fantasy today. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Don't need the HTML. Get the hell out of here. All right, let's build this bad boy and see what happens. Oh yeah, nice. Which one were you, did you end up playing? 6.1 story wrap up. Ooh. Look at you. I still need to uh I still need to get I need to work my way up to Stormblood um cuz you know does everyone boot up the classic FF7 Crisis Core every day? I, I don't think they do, Matt. I don't think they... No. No. I have never once booted up the FF7, the classic FF7 Crisis Core. But I have played Tactics a few times and love me some Final Fantasy Tactics. Very fun. Very nice. Okay. Does it have a... Do we have a... Do we have the stop now? I wonder if I can do the stop. Is it a stop? Because this is new. Okay, so let's go to 
Um, back to my script. I want to do a stop. Stop does not exist. Yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a nice little thing called TS Ignore here because, no, this doesn't exist as far as you know yet, but it's going to. Who's going to name Zach? Have you not played it? Listen, I, I don't play as me. I don't play as me. What to... Hmm. I I might not be able to do that here. Uh, you know what? It's fine. I'll just leave it the way it is for now. Okay. Let's rebuild it. Just make sure we're good. Let's close and reopen the bot. And... There we go. You going back to it again Tuesday for the new raid? Ooh, I heard the new raid is fun. Lolly can confirm. Uh, the alliance raid? That's I'm I'm assuming. I'm assuming, yeah. Read property replace of under What do you mean cannot read The alliance raid is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put this annoying dog outside. Well done, Rar. Well done. I'm not sure what... Can I do an import instead? Oh, no. I, no, it doesn't like that either. Listen, I'm learning things today. Huh, what is require? Well, require means I need some shit. Okay, we're going to try this this way now. Oh, wait, Dot, you're not talking about... Wait, yes, 6.1 is... Man, knowing all the Warcraft's version numbers and 14 oh, version yeah. numbers fucks with me sometimes. I bet, I bet it does. Yeah, new alliance rate is just... Mm. It's just chef's kiss. No good. No good. Okay, command they, I, If nothing else, they completely have outdone themselves with the music on the last boss of the Alliance raid. It's just, it's great. Wow, it's from like version blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Nice. Put him on the lead so it's easier to keep track of him. Oh, there you go, Rar. There you go. Let's see. See, this is the part where I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to other. Let's go to other code and see if I can. Let's go to his. 
OBS remote gives us. Okay, we export all this stuff. Oh, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just trying to make it too complicated. No, am am I six dot eighteen? That part for you is all the time. You're eternally that dog meme. I have no idea what I'm doing. But which one is it? Is it the baking one? Is it the science one? You'll never know. I have the science one on a shirt. On a shirt. You do. You do. I've seen that shirt. Can I not? Can I only export functions? Wait a minute. Can I export a const? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I can just literally export the const. Oh. He doesn't like that either. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do? No. Why are you angry? And that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And now. Do I have to do dot ts? No, I shouldn't have to do dot ts. It should know. That's right. What in the hell am I doing wrong? All right, let me go back to let me go back to this code. In index, we import init remote from the OBS remote. Where's init remote? See, there's a function there that's exported. Yeah, it's fine. I just. What do we do at the bottom? Anything? No, it's just. See, I export the function. There's the function. Let's build it. What if I... Oh, oh, wait, wait. I know what I'm doing wrong. That's what I was doing wrong. Well, that's, that'll probably do it, yeah. Okay, okay. See, I told you I was trying to make it too complicated. There we go. Okay, that's much better. We go walk the dog, turn in. Love you, buddy. Thank you. I think I think I might have it. Ooh, burgies. Oh, burger sounds so good, Rar. That sounds really good. 
Can I do a local import? Probably, but I think I'm going to just leave this the way it is. Oh, okay. Well, then that makes that's even better. Perfect. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna build this and we're gonna restart the bot one last time. One more time. Where's that script directory? I need to go clean that up too. Uh, profiles, main profiles. Oops, let's get rid of this guy. And come and start this back up for the last time. Okay, command center is running. And what do you mean two string of undefined? Wait a minute, are my settings not actually being sent down? Firebot. About what are you doing to me? You're killing me, Smalls. Where are settings? Settings? Where do settings come from? Okay, what settings we got? Are we not setting settings? Oh, it's a function. Oh. Oh. That's why. Oh, that's not the way that should work. What if I TS ignored that as well? Because I feel like that's the way it should be. Like, based on what this is telling me. Settings is a... Settings is a function, not a. That's what I'm thinking. All right. This should be the last one. And then if even if it doesn't work, I'm calling it a night because we're at time. All right, command center is running. You know what? You know what? Where's the... Actually, where's my sources? That's my debugger. Where are my sources? Oh, that is sources. Oh, okay. Let's get the bug. I don't, I don't, you know, I just don't know. Let's, uh... Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. Evie, thank you for the resub, friend. It, it, it does, it, it do be getting to sleepy time. Oh. Oh, did I just misspell something in the thing?
Oh. So it's just like a weird thing. But the host name and the port are there. So if I click on this, does it work? Oh my god. What if I shout out... What if I shout out Nova? Oh my god. It works! The page title doesn't work, but the rest of it does. Oh. Is there like a replace all? Oh, I bet it's finding the first instance and doing it. Oh, it's replace all. Oh, well, then that's that's. Wait, why don't you like replace all? Are you not are you not happy with that? Oh, oh. Right, really? Huh. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I I'll take it for now. I'll take it. And in that case, we're going to we're going to call it for the night. That's that's plenty good by me. All right. Oh, apparently Loaf is losing her mind out there. It's fine. I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, hey, uh, thank you all for hanging out. Um, I know tonight started off with some really, really serious talk, um, and, which was absolutely necessary. Um, but thank you all for, for hanging out um, and, you know, everything, everything I said meant a lot to me so um if you didn't get a chance to catch it go back and watch the beginning of the stream uh you did rue you did but i'm just now i'm just now finishing up um all right let's let's get out of here we got we got a we got a skadoodle because i got places to go people to see things to do mm -hmm. all that all that jazz but rue i'm glad to see you buddy i haven't seen you in a little while uh let's go see Let's go see Fire. We, we love old buddy Firepower. He's a good Firepower. Alright. We're gonna go see Fire. I only remember href equals listen. That's I'm lucky if I can get through a day where that's I remember that. So Alright, hey, thank you all again for being here for everything. Um I appreciate you very, very much. I'll see you tomorrow night for MMO Mondays. We're playing 14. I'm gonna be side questing and leveling up stuff. Uh, so I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Um, until then, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. If you need anything, ping me on Discord. I'll be there. Otherwise, um, yeah. See you later. Bye. Oh, wait, I gotta... Oh, now I'm bye. Bye. <laughs>